Okay, we're gonna show you an apartment that has a bed bug infestation. I want you to look right here. These are signs of bed bugs right here. What you've got is all the feces. That's the blood that they've pooped out when they came back after they feasted on their host, which would be the guy that lives here. Then they go back down into the carpet here and they um, hide until the next night and then they come back up and feed a little bit more. But that stuff doesn't come off. It's, uh, it's dried blood. They've been shedding their skins for a long, long time. This is, uh, these are all shells from the bed bugs as they go through their various stages. They were living uh, behind a headboard and then just dropping all their shells onto this baseboard. I'm gonna take you into the bedroom now and let you see uh, the mattress. Okay, now I've already checked this uh, mattress out. I've pulled back the sheets and there are a lot of bed bugs here, but I'm gonna give you a good close look at them. They like to hide underneath the sheets and along the uh, fringes of a mattress or under a box spring. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, right here in the crevices, we have many, many bed bugs just hanging out. Adults, and all the way down to almost every size. Of course, they'd like a little bit of blood right now, I'm sure. They all look pretty full. You see how they're all, they've all got red bellies. And that just tells you right there that the uh, these things have already had a full meal within the last couple of days. But you can see you can't really, you know, they don't really attack you. You can put your finger in there, go along and scare them away. They don't jump on you. You know, they don't fly. Um, they just run away. Uh, you know, they're in broad daylight right now, so they're not too... Uh, too interested in being exposed. But as you can see, they run pretty quick. They're very, very quick. All right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna treat these right now and try to clean this house up so the guy can uh, go on sleeping in peace. He's uh, had the bed bugs bite way too many times. And the old saying goes, don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, this guy's got to get bit about two or three hundred times a night because you'll find this many bed bugs on every single part of the mattress. What do we see on the box spring? Uh, yes, many more bed bugs. And this is right up where his head is. All right. Now, I sprayed these already, and uh, for the most part, they're dead. As you can tell, they can populate pretty quick. A newly hatched bed bug is not that big right there. That's, that's about the size of an apple seed, if you look really close. But a newly hatched one, you can fit about five or six of them on the head of a pin. And then they grow in stages and shed their skins. And become full adult size like this here. They just live in everything. Look at that up close. We didn't even need the dog, believe it or not. <laughs> the dog uh, probably would have ran away from this one. Overwhelming, and these things stink when you get them in this, this number. They have an awful odor trying to escape. But I'll tell you what, none will escape. Not one, we'll get them all. All right, well that's about it for now.